Hello and welcome everyone to the first episode of Tech Updates from Techie SMS and in this series I will be discussing about all the latest updates happened during the span of the month in the field of DIY electronics, IoT and the maker community just like what are the new development board release in the market, what are the new updates, what are the news in the field of maker and IoT community and also I will be discussing about what new interesting projects made during the span of the month and these all are kind of information which you must be aware about being the part of the community. So in this video, I'll be discussing all the updates happened during April 2021. Let's get started. Starting with the first update, which is coming from Oxygate, and this is really very important if you consider this pandemic situation and all that oxygen deficiency situation happening in India. Okay, so Oxygate is a company who is tried to make their own oxygen concentrator, which is open source. So its code is available. What components are used also available. Everything, every documentation about this uh, oxygen concentrator is available, so that anyone in the world can make their own uh, by just a uh, couple of the components which are used to make this oxygen concentrator. Okay, so I will leave the link for this uh, website in the description. Now, if you don't know what oxygen concentrator is, then oxygen concentrator doesn't produce this oxygen, but what it does is it sucks the air from the atmosphere. And as you all know, the atmospheric air consists of 80% of nitrogen and only 20% of oxygen. So the person uh, suffering from this coronavirus uh, uh, is not able to breathe properly in this like lesser oxygen condition. So what this concentrator will do, it will suck all the uh, air along with the nitrogen oxygen in all of the gases it will filter out uh, oxygen out of them it will give only pure oxygen at the output and this company says that it will be giving around 92 percent of oxygen here it is mentioned 92 percent concentration so that much pure oxygen will be provided at the output and that can be given to the coronavirus patient so that he can be you know recovered from that uh, uh, virus okay so this is a really great initiative and uh, they are also helping india by shipping those products into india so you can directly purchase this oxygen concentration or you can purchase a part of it and make it by yourself now one more news coming from India which is related to Oxycate only is from Maker Asylum so Maker Asylum is kind of a makers lab we can say or fab lab we can say in Goa India and what they are doing is they have started this crowdfunding to make our own oxygen concentrator okay so they say that the objective is to build a frugal DIY Oxycate oxygen generator that can be made with locally sourced materials in India to offer a decentralized way of manufacturing and bring relief to extremely resource crunch hospital in India okay so they are trying to collect all the materials from India and try to make their own oxygen by taking the reference of the oxygen generator made by oxygen and they started the crowdfunding on Keto so if you are like uh, interested or rather I will recommend definitely uh, to you all to donate whatever you can to these uh, maker asylum people so that they can uh, you know uh, bring all the components and start building their own oxygen and they will also teach us uh, uh, to build our oxygen so that every one every corner of the people in India can make their own oxygen concentrated okay so yeah this is the really important update and straight away starting with the next update which is coming from the blink so blink recently uploaded a blog which says five project tutorials to help you get started with the blink so they didn't make any new projects and nothing new they just collected a couple of projects from internet and uh, uh, those projects are kind of easy to make yet useful projects i was expecting my project to be in the list but unfortunately it is not but yeah good news is Two of these five projects are from Indian YouTubers. One is from Tech Study Cell, which is this, and another is from Viral Science, which is this. Okay, so you can also check it out if you are getting, if you want to get started with Blink. I will suggest you to go through this blog and try all the five projects, and you'll get a perfect grip with the Blink IoT. Okay, straight away, uh, starting with the next update coming from Arduino, which I already posted on Instagram, which is arduino is now supported with raspberry pi pico or in general we can say rp2040 okay so in my raspberry pi pico video i just told you that raspberry pi pico is not at all compatible with arduino but it's no more that case now arduino embed core for rp2040 boards is out so it will support our raspberry pico as well as it will also support the arduino R arduino nano rp2040 which is upcoming board from arduino side okay so that's a really great uh, news now we can 
program Pico using Arduino IDE. Straight after that, another news coming from Arduino is they have released their new development board, what they call as Arduino Edge Control. So this is the development board of that Pro series from Arduino, and this is really very expensive. It starts from one ninety nine, like almost two hundred dollars. Okay, but the specs are pretty impressive. So if I take the stack specs, so here are all the specifications. Now one thing which I like the most is it has these many connectivity options like Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, three G, narrowband IoT. Plus Nora when now these three are available only when the, we attach the Arduino MKR with this particular board. Okay, the rest of them they are pretty impressive specifications. But what I think is Arduino had a great market of hardware and software both previously when Raspberry Pi and ESP boards were not launched. But as soon as the ESPs and Raspberry Pis came into the market, I think. Many of us, including me, shifted to the ESPs and Raspberry Pis rather than Arduino. So Arduino is now used only for coding. I I rarely use Arduino boards for my projects now, and I think there will be the same case with you all people as well. So in this scenario, um, Arduino making such expensive boards, I don't think they will be able to take over the market. Uh, I really don't think so. If you think so, this this kind of board will take over the hardware market. Do let me know in the comment. Well, if I talk about if, like if I talk more about this board, then they have uh, provided one article along with a YouTube video which will discuss about all the specifications and use cases of this particular board in different different industries. So they are targeting uh, like the agriculture market, agriculture industry. We can say they mention everything here as well. And one more thing, this this board is also compatible to make some AI based project as well. Okay, so this is kind of a pro board from Arduino. Which uh, if you want to check it out, I'll leave the link for that as well as in the description. But I don't think it will take over the market. Do you think? <laughs> okay, moving ahead with the next part. So this is now the DIY projects part that were made in the April 2021. Now you already know there are a lot of creators on YouTube on different uh, blogs website where people are showcasing their projects. Okay, so if I talk about this April month, there were really a lot of projects made uh, definitely. But what I did is I just picked out some of the really very interesting project which. You should definitely check it out, which are new, interesting, useful, and exciting as well. Okay, so I just picked out a couple of the projects. So don't think every project will be included. Only the most interesting or exciting, or rather the project which excites me, are included in this particular video series. Okay, starting with the first project, which is coming from the Bitloni. Bitloni is like one of my favorite uh, creators of this electronics and IoT market. So what he did is he just designed his own smart doorbell in which uh, whenever anyone presses the doorbell okay as you can see he presses the doorbell and uh, so inside so yeah as soon as he presses the doorbell the led lamp uh, changes its led pattern and the bitloni comes to know that anyone is there at the what you can say door okay and uh, after a few seconds the led lamp goes back to the normal pattern okay so this is how uh, he made the smart uh, uh, doorbell with the help of esp266 wi-fi chip kind of interesting and simple to make as well this is one of the projects which I found interesting in the month of April. Second is from Electrono, which is again one of my favorite creators. And this is the super amazing project, which I think many of you people had already checked it out. Okay, so this is a smart glasses multimeter. So Electrono has already made his own multimeter, and uh, now he made his own smart glasses. Now, but the combination of both, what he did is he just sending the reading of multimeter via Bluetooth to the smart glasses, and uh, as soon as he like measure any resistance or voltage, every data is displayed here straight on the smart glasses let us check it out as you can see here is the small tiny display and uh, uh, as you can see he can he, now it is visible as volt so volt is 0, 0.00 now it is changed to ohm so we can measure the resistance so uh, what you have to do is just insert the component and every data will be displayed straight in front of your eyes so you don't need to you know look at the multiple layer watch the reading watch the reading you can just <laughs> attach the component look at the component and read like this which is really quite futuristic we can say a really great job electronops i really loved it okay so next project is from wired youtube channel now next two projects are both from wired and those projects are really we can see a quite interesting and unique and new projects out of them one of the project is 
this guy made uh, uh, what you can say his own to be controlled by playing game on the console okay so what this guy did is it just made his arduino project in which as soon as he start playing the game on the console the microwave turns on now what the concept of this like what's the purpose of making this project he just told that uh, whenever we are trying to cook any food in the microwave uh, it shows us you need to wait for one or two minutes and those are the longest one or two minutes uh, uh, of our lifetime okay so what he tried to do is he tried to he wanted to kill that time okay he wanted to make the time more shorter you can see okay make them feel shorter so what he did he just uh, inserted one console so as soon as he start playing the game the microwave will turn on and as soon as the game gets over the microwave will get turned off let's just play the video and you will come to know okay so right now the microwave is turned off and as soon as i start playing the game i think the light will turn on okay the light is turned on the microwave start uh, cooking that particular food or microwaving that particular food uh, but the cons of this particular project is uh, he showed in the video he was so much engaged in playing that video that the food inside the microwave was like burnt like a hell okay so you'll be able to see in couple of minutes so he's just engaged in playing the game and after that as you can see when he takes out the popcorn as you can see it's all smoky all the popcorns turned into black they just like oh no <laughs> mixed together okay so that's the con of this particular project but it is interesting so we can just kill our time by playing the games and the food will be cooking in the parallel okay that's an interesting project you should check it out you will get to learn something new about microwave and uh, all that stuff do check it out straight after that the last project is again from the wide and this is the best project so if i'm allowed to give you the title of best project of april 2021 then that will be going to this particular project super interesting okay so what this guy did is he made his own digital compass which will take you to the nearest pizza store the, the device will guide you that hey where is the pizza store and it will guide you towards that store and will take you there okay so as you can see this is that digital compass and the led the neo pixel on the device will guide him where in which direction he should move okay as you can see uh, he's moving on to the right direction as of now and uh, yeah he is at the pizza store super interesting right so for making this project he used the magnetometer uh what you can say the particle board uh, with the sim card connectivity option so that that can that board can talk to internet and he also used the lipo, lipo battery and neo pixels to guide okay so it's a really super interesting project and he made a complete tutorial on how he made it okay so do check it out the best project of april 2021 so yeah, that was it about the tech updates from Tech SMS April 2021 edition and I hope you got to know something new which you are not at all knowing before. Do let me know in the comments like what was the one thing which you are not at all aware about before watching this video. I really want to know is this video series adding some values to your life, adding some knowledge. Do let me know your genuine comment into the comment section and uh, and also you can join my telegram group whose link is in the description in which we can discuss about all the updates happening during the month and uh, we'll be discussing and in the end we'll be making the video for those updates as well okay so that's it about the first episode of this series hey do let me know how was the series this was the series which i'm planning to make from so long but didn't get the time and as this is the pandemic time uh, every everything is shut down every shop every work is shut down so i got a little bit more time to invest on my youtube video so i just started this series do let me know is this series adding some values to your life is it so do comment below do like it do share it and i'll see you all in the next one with the very fresh new updates and other than this series i also make a regular diy project in the field of electronics iot automation so if you're new to this channel do subscribe do check out other projects which are really very interesting really very useful that being said ending this video here and now just wait for my next one to explore learn share with me techie sms